Okay guys, so we're here on the table and we have three of the Rage of Raw booster boxes. Like we mentioned earlier, we are going to go ahead and open one of them. And uh, obviously our goal is the Ghost Rare God card. We, for many reasons, I personally want a Ghost God card because they haven't existed up until now. But I believe that it would be really awesome if we, my brother and I decided to build decks out of this uh, booster box in particular just because Again, they never made really any raw effect cards, and I was a big fan of the slime cards um, back in the show um, when we used to watch it when we were little on Saturday mornings. So, let's get started. We're going to be very careful and set the other ones to the side. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited. Hopefully we get a, a, a ghost rare of, of raw here. So. It's cringeworthy. Make sure we cut it. I would like for you guys to tell me in the comments how you kind of, when you go through a booster box, what is it that you do to uh, open them up? Do you just kind of go at them? Or is there a particular best way to cut these? Again, this is our first time really doing anything like this. It's our first booster box that we've ever opened. Um, so. I'm just kind of winging it at this point, hopefully not damaging any of the cards and whatnot. I bet some of you guys are kind of like, oh my gosh, cringe right now. Okay, there it is. Move that out to the side. Here it is, guys. Let's go for that Ghost Rare God card. Ready? Open it up here. Nice and slowly. And I kind of want to go ahead and set this up like you'd see it back in the day when you'd go to Walmart with your parents and you'd see these actually at the car shops like this too with them open so very cool that's exciting let me put this knife away and let's get started so first pack of the bunch guys they're all first edition to all the boxes which is pretty sweet um, we're gonna go ahead and and then I'll open them how I open them and later on as I go see if you guys say anything in the comments like the best way that you open them um, but I think this is the best way to be honest alright first few cards here we go we got ourselves a reboot rain control Nick Lord army of Weisel Oh, there's our first Jinzo. I love Jinzo. Hit when we first got a secret rare on the uh, booster packs, so we got a Mound of the Bound Creator. Um, we pulled a Jinzo once off a booster pack and uh, Feral Servant booster pack, and it was freaking awesome. Probably the best glossy secret rare we ever saw. We even thought they were starting to make new secret rares because they looked so awesome. And then that was in a phase where our mom threw away our cards, and there goes Jinzo. Be curious to know if any of your parents threw away your cards um, with a, for some reason, like by whether by accident or on purpose to punish you. But mom, I still love you. It just was a unfortunate. See, I'm I'm really bad at this one here. Okay. I'm going to be very careful and open this side as being real stubborn. These packs are real flimsy now. I remember them being pretty sturdy back in the day. I don't know if you remember that, Brian, but another Jinzo. Let's let the comments over here. Mechlord Emperor Skyle. Ooh, there's a Ra's Disciple, so that's good for the Ra deck. And uh, Holding Legs. I think this is what Mai got and trapped in on the episode of Battle City. Um, Ooh, a wild monster appears. Okay, it's a rare. Curious if you guys ever pulled a ghost rare raw out of these yet. Um, it's kind of crazy how everyone wants one now. And I think these came out at this time while we're opening about five months ago. So there's plenty out there. Chaos Infinity. Mind Control, Mechlord Emperor Grinnell, Token Sunday, are they like eating the tokens? 
Mechlord Deflection. We're getting a lot of Mechlord stuff, which I totally forgot about that on these packs. There's Mechlord, Jinzo, Slime, and Raw stuff in these. One of the cards I really want to get is the Obelisk um, God Slime card, just because it looks sweet and it's actually a really good fusion. Some good effects on there. Um, and we got a Mechlord Emperor Weisel, the Resolute Mechlord Army, Monster Reborn, the classic. There we go, guys. We got a Wing Dragon of Raw alternate. Look how cool that card looks. That already makes this box so worth it for us. It's one of the ones we really wanted. And uh, we got to sleeve that up, so here you go. And we got a Cyber Energy Shock. It looks super sweet. Sick. That's awesome. We better sleeve. We better, let's sleeve that up real quick while we're, uh, while Brian's showing you guys how dope it looks up close. I'm gonna grab a sleeve. Let's go ahead and let's sleeve that. Yeah, dude. There you go. That's the one you really wanted. Yep. Yeah. It's a win. Yeah, believe it or not, guys, my brother wanted this one more than the Ghost Rare. I know, right? But <laughs> that goes to show that Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon and all those card games, it really is about what your favorite cards are, not really what everyone wants. Which is always really, really fun. All right, next one. We already got a win so far. Freaking sweet alternate raw. In every video I've seen on YouTube lately, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've seen a ghost raw being pulled when they pull an alternate raw. So that gets me pretty excited. If we get all three, in if we get all three in this first box. I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know if I should open the rest of the boxes at that point <laughs> and just wait for another opening that we do. Mechlord Emperor Grinnell. Token Sunday. I'm all excited now. I feel like this is a good box. Psychic Shockwave. Jinzo Jector. And a Psychic Mega Cyber. That's like a Fiend Mega Cyber. Um, alternate card. S one S Faroba Duel Joey, I believe. Fiend Mega Cyber was one of my favorite cards back then too, just because he looked so sweet. And we got that on Pharaoh Servant as well, I believe. And uh, you couldn't ask me where it's probably on our binders somewhere. But another Jinzo there. Another Jinzo Jector. At least I'm getting a lot of Jinzo cards for that deck on the bill, so that's good. Holding arms. Ra's Disciple and Another Mechlord, Astro the Eradicator. So we're getting a lot of Mechlord cards, which is fine. I'll have to read into them more because that's not a type of deck that I would normally run. If you guys know they're pretty good, let me know in the comments. All right, got another one here. Let's keep going. I don't even know how nice um, that raw card was, if it was rateable or not. Obviously, it would be nice to rate it. Mind Control. We got a reboot earlier. Brain Control. A lot of control cards here. There's our super rare. A Mechlord Army Deployer of the Gato. So, and there's another <laughs> Eradicator. So, there's a super rare. Let's go ahead and uh, set that off to the side with the sleeve. We're going to sleeve all our super rares and ultras and keep the rares on the side. I don't know what you guys do with your rares when you get them, but um, most of the time we go ahead and put them in their own uh, folders with the rares. And we keep the set super rares, the ultra rares, ultimates, all that in their own binder as well. Okay. This one is, I don't even know, I'm not keeping track how many we've opened so far, you know? <laughs> this is like six, I think. There's all the trash. Yeah, back there. Okay, next booster pack. Make Lord Astro Dragon, asterisk. That's from that trap card there. Holding legs. Got a lot of those so far. Amplifier, another quick card. There's another super rare Sun God Unification. I was telling my brother about this earlier today. It's raw, basically obliterating, you know, those little guys in the back. So he could show you guys up close. And we got a wild monster appears again. There you go. 
Let me grab a sleeve for you. That's one of the cards you wanted. Yeah, we're the monsters. Yeah, they're just getting fucked. I need to see which ones they are. I thought they'd be like the sh ones on the show. Yeah, I don't think you could even tell really. That's sick though. I mean, it's like my uh, Bliss yeah, Obliterator, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exodia Obliterated card. Yeah, pretty clean. Cool. Pretty similar. Very clean trap card, first edition. So, if you guys are wondering, I got these from Amazon, of all things, and I wasn't sure if it would be unlimited or first edition. I don't even, to, to, and to my understanding, you can't even get unlimited in these boxes, but you never know these days with everyone trying to, you know, farm these boxes and they manipulate them and such. It was actually a really good purchase. Normally, I don't get stuff off of Amazon for these things. Okay, so we got a Jinzo Returner. Ooh, he's quite ugly there. Token Sunday. Chaos Infinity. That, these are some new cards I haven't seen yet. Reboot. Are we going to get a Ghost Rare, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, Cosmo. Oh, there, that one's cool. Cosmos Channeling. Obviously, that's Esperoba there. Turns out he was cheating the whole time. I forgot who caught him. Who caught him? Someone caught him. Mokuba? Yeah. Little yeah, Mokuba skis in around town finding cheaters. Mokuba. Alright, so here's one more booster pack here. Wish I was counting. I hope you guys are counting along. Let's see where we're at. Jinzo Ejector. Monster Reborn. Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor. Guardian Slime, there you go. Nice, another ultra rare, guys. This is the one you want when you uh, want to fusion uh, the Obelisk Slime card and uh, Makura the Destructor. He's also a really cool merit card. There's that one you can show the guys in detail while I grab a sleeve. Good, so far I feel like this box has been decent. That's a win. It's a, it's a win, but never seen that card. we really That's want cool. to uh, that ghost rare but uh, so far so good guys let's put keep putting raw on top just because i mean why not he's so sweet are you putting the ultimates or the ultras separate yeah. the supers very nice okay another one there is 36 packs per box guys and there's five cards in each booster pack i know you're usually used to seeing more in a booster pack um, if you're new to these types of booster packs, these come with five. Um, so, left arm offering, Mech Lord Emperor Grinnell, Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor, and there's the other one in the pack. Another asterisk. Let's see here. Hey, that one is sick looking. Everlasting Alloy. I just don't, I don't know why. If you really think about it, Jinzo looks really weird, but he's one of our favorite cards ever. He just looks so badass in my opinion. Literally the art is beautiful. Okay, so next booster pack. It's the tops of the top rights of these are terrible. Yeah, they're like sticker. They used to be easier to open. Yeah, well these are actually like they shred apart, but the top right corner always hooked. Alright, so there's an asterisk. Mech Lord Fortress. Psychic Shockwave, another Jinzo card. Mechlord Army of Skyle. Probably butchering these names. And then another Cosmos Channeling. Very cool. Hmm. I forgot it was just full of Mechlords too. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, again, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Mechlord stuff, but yeah, in the comments, I'm sure some guys will tell us how good they are. With, they don't have that smell. The heck, nope. The heck, Konami. All the new stuff doesn't really have that classic smell that we all know to love here. Mind control. There's metal reflex slime. Very good. I'm going to need that when I pull that fusion, right, guys? Chaos Infinity. Is there a fusion? No. <laughs> fusion. God, slime. Mech Lord Emperor Skyle and Mound of the Bound Creator. I think that's another um, rock, card? rock card, potentially. Level 10 or higher monsters on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed yeah, by card effects. Fine. Yeah, you can add one divine monster from your deck to your hand. Very cool. Very useful. We were so psyched when these came out because 
Rob kind of was like, it seemed like you were cheated when all the God cards came out with their effects because Slifer and Obelisk are pretty much identical to the cartoon. Yeah, right. But Raw was like, yeah, you, you know, just your life points. And it was just like, not fair. But now it's like, he gets his own cards, which there's Metal Reflex Slime. Amplifier, we saw on the cartoon. Many years ago, Jinzo Returner. Mind Control. Makura. I'm going to spoil, I'm going to mess his name up every time. Makura the Destructor. I'm curious how many of you guys, um, well at the time of filming, we pre-ordered those God card structure decks and um, I'm pretty excited about it. Only It's only the Obelisk and the Slifer right now, but let me know in the comments if you pre-ordered one of those. Those are going to be pretty cool. They're probably to compete with all these raw cards. That are, oh, there's a new card there. Your ghetto. Left arm offering. I'm seeing new cards now, guys. That's good. Mechlord, well, there's another one. Mechlord Army of Weisel. Jinzo Jeez. the Machine Menace. Look at that. This is the Jinzo card you want, guys, on this pack. And then, then Mechlord Deflector as well. Deflection. There you go. Let me grab a sleeve. That is a sick looking card. It basically is Jinzo, but too. he's an upgraded one. He has a different effect. All of these are ridiculously clean. Too. Yeah, very glossy, very clean. We got a really nice box, guys. Yeah. Again, I mean, look on Amazon, you might find a golden nugget sometimes. It's just so hard, you know, you'd rather get it from actual creators and stuff. But uh, that's a cool freaking card. All right, next one. Let's see what we get, guys. Jinzo Returner, Left Arm Offering, Holding Arms, Mech Lord Emperor Skyle, and a Cyber Energy Shock. I'm surprised they're coming, I'm, I'm drawing them nicely. I thought I would be dropping all kinds of cards because I'm not used to doing this. I'm actually doing, I guess, a decent job. I don't know if you guys tell me. All right, next pack. Yoink. Token Stampede, another new one. I haven't seen that. Let's pull that yet. No. Holding Arms, we have seen that one. Right behind, this is the same card that's been behind that for the past two, I think. Um, oh, there we go. Which one's this one? Mechlord Astro Dragon. Tri Skillion. That's a cool card, though. It makes me kind of want to look into Mechlords. Yeah. Um, and then a Reactor Slime. That's a good, cool. that's the rare you want. I didn't see that one. Yep. Here, so you can. Show them up close. They can see some sweet action on that card. Yeah. Hmm. I know hollows are hollows are always awesome to look at and stuff, but I had a crazy obsession with hollows as a kid since Pokemon. I don't know, it just makes it so awesome to that you own that card, it just looks sweet. And Yu-Gi-Oh has been Konami's been changing up the hollows that you get. Like, just recently with the maximum golds, those things are insane looking. I wish we filmed those and we got them. Those look freaking awesome. Okay, Mechlord Emperor Weisel, Token Stampede, Mechlord Astro Mechanical, I think I said that right. That's a new one that we haven't pulled. This is like 12 star or something. Mechanical. <laughs> Actually, yeah, maybe you're right, dude. Mechlord Army of Skull and a Psychic Mega Cyber again. Cool. Very nice. I'm trying to do these as fast as possible for you guys for some reason. Um, you know, it's it's like, yeah. Speed hey, I'll practice. If you guys like these videos, I'll practice more. Mechlord Astro Mechanical again, now that I'm saying it right. Jinzo Returner. I just showed the other one there. Mechlord Fortress. Mechlord Emperor Weisel Synchro Absorption. That one's kind of cool. Machine yeah. Effect. I feel like we're pulling the Yeah, one. Well, there's oh, another yeah. card there. And then the Mound of the Bound Creator. So there's a super rare there. Hang on to it. 
Here's the sleeve, good sir. You can really tell what they are. It's like a dragon yeah, coming out of a, absorbing, you know, coming out of the machine. The blue flame dragon. Okay, next pack. I would say we're at least 20 deep. I would say, but I'm not counting. Come on. All right, amplifier. Yeah, let's get that ghost rare. I mean, honestly, all we would need to make this amazing is the ghost rare and that uh, god slam. Sure. Got we, we gotta get more. Brain control. Another uh -huh. our repeat. First ultra rare repeat. Mechlord, Astro Dragon, Triskelion, and again, look right behind it. Psychic Mega Cyber. Alright, let me grab a sleeve for you. How many ultra rares is that in this box? I don't know, we're getting pretty good pulls. Well, don't get the let's see, super rares. We got one, two, three, four, five ultras so far, and three super rares. So, I don't know the drop rate on these, really. Um, I've seen it be really random for some people, so I'm not going to assume that we went through all our ultra rares. And even if we did, as long as we get that ghost rare, right? That's what we want. Well, no, I really want that obelisk card. Jinzo Returner. Mind Control, Mechlord Army of Grinnell. Hey, another super rare, Mechlord Nucleus Infinity Core. And there's another mound of the mound creator there. I think we're good on Mechlords. <laughs> I know, right? That's the mostly what we're problem. getting is Mechlords. All right, that's fine. Hey, we're getting yeah, good cards. Some good pulls anyway. All right, let's grab this one, this is kind of strangling. Okay. See, this one pulled out nice and clean. That's how I should be doing all of them. All right, Jura Ghetto, Psychic Shockwave, Metal Reflex Slime. That's what we want, but the fusion. Come on, we want the fusion. Mechlord Fortress, and another Reactor Slime. Ooh, I'm gonna put that there. All right. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I have a good feeling that we're gonna get that ghost rare eventually. Just gotta keep chugging along. Okay. Mechlord Army of Weisel. Another Jinzo. I think this is our fourth one, third one. Mechlord Emperor Grinnell. Token Sunday. I think that's where we would see an Ultra or something. Mechlord Deflection. The fourth card, I think, has been the Ultras um, and the Supers. Fifth one's always the rare. That's what it looks like. I haven't had any weird pulls. Token Stampede. We got a Mechlord Astro Dragon. Mechlord Emperor. Brain Control. And a wild monster appears. Okay. Next one. Starting to see a lot of repeats. Get to the bottom of this box here. All right. Sweet. Jinzo Lord. That's our first Jinzo Lord. Interesting. Here ghetto. Mech Lord Army of Grinnell. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, amplifier. And a Makura again. All right. Booster pack number probably 28. I don't know. Did you count the ones in there? I didn't. But 11. No. Psychic Shockwave. Jinzo Ejector. Mechlord Astro or Dragon Asterisk. Folding Legs. Well done. And there's a psychic mega cyber again. This so really feels legs very them. oddly thick from the rust. I don't know why. Doesn't it? It's kind it of thick. Yeah, it's, it's like thicker than the other ones. Oh Alright. Next pack. Next pack. Mech Lord Astro Mechanical. Another Jinzo Lord, alright, that's our second one. 
Mechlord Army of Weisel. Hey, another super rare, guys. Mechlord Assembly. We didn't have that one either yet. That's cool. And the Me Mechlord Deflection. Tons of Mechlord cards. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make a deck out of those. Yep. You're gonna have to try it out. It's probably mid as hell. It's probably really good. Okay. Super rare stack. I would say that's probably like five or six super rares so far. Mm -hmm. We're doing it for science too, science. Just to see what, in case we pull the other boxes out, what we get. Reboot. Jinzo Lord. Next to Jinzo. Jirgido. Means Ghost Rock. I think it's going to be in the fourth slot of the booster packs. Because that's where we've gotten all our nice ones. Okay. Come on, guys. Hard to carts. Alright. Holding legs. The Resolute Mech Lord Army. Mech Lord Fortress. Ah, Jin's Ejector. And Cyber Energy Shock. Oh, I'm feeling the bottom of that box. It's getting close. Okay. Gosh, she gets that right corner. Gets me every time. Okay. Next five, we got Amplifier. Mind Control. <sighs> that freaked me out for a second. Metal Reflex Slime. Hey! That, that one's cool too, the Super Rare Millennial, Millennium Revelation, awesome. and another Everlasting Alloy. Yeah, that's another raw one. Oh, we need that other one. Yeah, we need the chant. Yeah. The, uh, to make him, you know, I think that's the one you were saying, you sacrifice three monsters, you get their attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which is what it's the cartoon cool used to. Get that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. I haven't seen a blaze cannon yet. Mm. So that one would be cool to get too. Mechlord Army of Weisel. Brain Control. Holding Arms. Monster Reborn. And a Wild Monster Appears. There's another one. We got like three or four of them now. Down to our last few packs. Still have hope. Still have hope. Two on the right, two on the left. Okay, so this is our fifth to last pack. Okay. Alright, let's see. Left arm offering. Psychic shockwave. Mechlord army of Weisel. Hey, that's another one. Law of Cosmos. Super rare. Cyber energy shock. That's Esperoba there in the middle. Just kind of floating. Don't know why. Don't know what this card does. Um, let's go ahead and read it quick because it's short. Your opponent can set one trap directly from the hand or deck. Then if they did, special summon one Jinzo from your deck. If they did not, add one Jinzo or one monster that specifically lists the card in its text from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one law of the cosmos per turn. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, so you can just search for Jinzo. Basically. That's what it sounds like. All right, come on. Come on, we got, how many was that? We got four left, this is our fourth one. Four, then we got three after this one. Token Sunday. Oh, we're getting back to some raw cards. It's a good thing. Mechlord Emperor Weisel. The true name, that's a good one. That's an ultra, that's how many ultras now? And then Mound of the Mound Creator. Is this five or six now? Here you can show them. Six, six, six. That's our sixth one. That's a sweet one. The true name. Yeah. I think that's the one that you're talking about. Or no, is it? No. No, the chant one, so. That one's cool. Well, good. So, see, we got more raw cards still to pick coming up. That's a good thing. Mm. That's what we want. We want to see. I think we've had our share of Jinzo already as well. 
Can't think of another Jinzo card that we didn't get. Yeah, we're probably gonna know yeah. in the next award, so. So Ghost Draw! You see yeah, that slime, slime. Obelisk or Ghost Draw? Mech Lord Emperor, Grinnell, the Resolute Mech Lord Army, Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor, Mech Lord Emperor Weisel, and Makura. It's a cool card. We just, what did we just see that he used it on? Merrick used it on uh, my, I think. Yeah, I think that's every time he's doing it. Plays it. You can make the Merrick pick with like that. All right, down to our last two packs, guys. Mechlord Army of Grinnell, Amplifier, Monster Reborn, the Resolute Mechlord Army, and Mechlord Astro the Eradicator. Come on, last pack, guys. Last pack of the box. We want those two. That's what we want. Come on. Are the cards. Okay. All right, let's see. Last pack of the box. Can we get Ghost Draw or Obelisk? Slime. Chaos Infinity. Mechlord Emperor Skyle. Dragido. Left Arm Offering. Dang it. <laughs> Alright guys, Cosmos Channeling. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And if you did, I mean we got plenty of decent ultras. We got the true name. This guy, dude. We got two yeah. of the tri skeleton. He kind of took the two slots. Guardian Slime, which I'm pumped about. Jinzo the Machine Menace. We got the alternate art raw. That honestly made the box for us. Um, we got a bunch of super rares as well. But uh, just stay tuned to the channel, guys. We'll try and bring you mu much more uh, to come. And I hope you enjoyed this box opening. Keep an eye out for the other box openings as well. Thanks, guys.